guys. So in the previous video, I showed you how to do competitor analysis. Now, in terms of how you structure your outreach campaign, because now we're going to be showing you how to set up a basic outreach campaign. There's a number of different ways to do this and a number of different ways you can set up your processes depending on how many staff you've got. You may want to outsource a lot of the grunt work um, from you know to your VAs. You may also have a better tool than the ones I'm going to show you. So initially, for generic outreach, I'm going to do a couple of different tutorials. This one is based on a lot, you know, if you're starting out and you don't have money for the likes of a tool like Pitchbox, I'm going to show you an alternative way to do it at a much lower cost and why you would be doing it as well. Um, so the two tools that you're going to need would be Mailshake and hunter.io which is free to use for us you know you've got free plans but then you can obviously go up to different types of plans here depending on how many requests you're going to put through there per month and if you're doing outreach in a big way you know you're probably going to have to be on one of these packages here but it can be fairly cost effective if you're only doing a small bit of outreach now first what you're going to do is obviously I've done your competitor analysis and list a bunch of targets and then what you're going to do is set up an outreach campaign. Now I have actually got Mailshake set up here, wait a minute just to open it up. Now what Mailshake does is allow you to create a bunch of different campaigns at a real low cost. Now you just simply go to new campaign We'll call it July the 1st Outreach, click next. What you're going to do is bash in a whole bunch of the email addresses of people you're going to reach out to or you can manually put them in here. Now, I'm going to come back to this part in a moment. Um, what you're going to do is you're also going to have hunter.io. So if you see that someone's got a link on builders or buildersmart.in, then we can basically see if we go into hunter.io and we put in that domain, we can see that there's two email addresses listed for that company and we can copy and paste that into a spreadsheet or whatever. Um, or I can just copy and paste it um, into the Mailshake campaign like that. So I can import that in there, finish import, job done. Um, <coughs> but basically on hunter.io you can pretty much put in plumbers and it'll, it'll basically give you you know the email addresses for plumbers stock so you basically put the domain in and it will give you the different guys email addresses that are connected to that domain name so it's a great tool for identifying the right people the great thing is you can see that this guy's a developer these guys are support but depending on what you put in you're going to have a bunch of different stuff there so you might get the you know SEO manager or whatever so you know the more layers are targeted or the more you can drop the email onto the right person the better chance you've got of getting that converted so hunter.io is the simplest and easiest tool to use that is what you need to do to identify the email addresses or you can buy an email list from someone else or you may acquire a list or whatever you might do <coughs> um, but you what you want to do is basically upload that list into here anyway and that's it um, I don't want to clean anything um, and then what you're going to do is compose your email now you can basically put on here something very generic like hi there you know, I'm looking for potential. You know, potentially getting a link on your website. How am I going to go about that? Is there a cost or whatever it's going to be? Or you can be a lot more laser targeted. Now, I asked BB Lowry Raven, who is well known for her outreach skills, to give me some of her examples of what she does or what she gives to her VAs. And. Basically, what BB likes is for her outreach campaigns to look as customised as possible while being able to scale. So you need to tailor the templates to the niche that you're reaching out to. And she's basically given us an example per niche. So, subject line 
Um, and she will put in a subject line like this. Um, and then she'll basically have an email saying hi, and it will have their first name. Hope today is a prismatic day fused with pot a potent cup of joe. I don't even know what a potent cup of joe is. BB's from the, the Netherlands, so it's probably something crazy over there. Um, but basically, she, she has her pitch there, and you can basically see this. And, you know, people, you need to stand out from the crowd. And I think that's what BB does. Is she uses some quirky little ways of doing it, or crazy ways of doing it. And there's a whole bunch of stuff. You can be very direct. You can be funny. You can do these kind of crazy things. You need to find out what works in the niche that you're operating in. Now, basically what you would do is compose the email in Mailshake and put it all in there. Now, once that's ready to go, you can basically go to preview options and send. However, what I would strongly, strongly advise that anyone does is add a follow-up sequence. Stats out there suggest that when you do an outreach campaign, people will probably ignore the first email. Where the conversions or where things are picked up is what's on that follow-up sequence. So you can basically create your follow-up sequence template and type in whatever you want here. You can also change the waiting time to five days, to seven days, to three days, whatever you want and continue to follow up every X amount of days with something with something different. Now, Mailshake do also have a cold email masterclass, which is completely free. And they also have, you know, lessons in terms of email strategy. They also have a whole bunch of great blog posts talking about do your research, you know, trying to make these things, uh, you know, as accurate and as engaging and as personal as you possibly can is key. You obviously want to hook recipients from the first sentences, um, which there's some examples here. Add personalization, which you can do. Um, and there's stats on here saying, you know, 65 people are visual learners, so you might want to do that. Sometimes you want to me add value first when you're sending out your outreach email whatever that value may be. Um, and there's different examples of that. You can use humor, again, stand out from the crowd and make it easy to reply. Don't make it a difficult job or ask for too much information. But the follow-up sequence is where you're gonna get the best conversions. And that is something that many people will, will tell you. Um, works so you know doing that it's all about the mail shake follow-up sequence which can all be automated you can pre set all of this kind of stuff up you can you know choose different templates um you know they've got some already built templates here um but you can customize these to suit yourself and obviously that's you know a generic asking for a guest post will that work who knows you need to send it out and try it out so they already do have pre-built templates but bb as you as i said has put in an example here as well of what works well for her and how she sees it and i think using this and doing the automated follow-up sequence is what's going to get you an element of links for your outreach campaign. But one, you need to make sure that you are reaching out to the right people, which I can't emphasize enough. You have to get in about hunter.io or something similar to make sure you're getting good solid emails or get a list from someone or whatever you want to do. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is this is a low cost option of doing it. There is a premium tool out there called Pitchbox, which basically you import the URLs and it will find all of this stuff for you. That's why you pay a premium for a tool like Pitchbox. It's not like for like. It's got all the bells and whistles. It's got you know a much more advanced set of functionality. But 
Can everyone afford pitch box? No, you may only want to be doing a small amount of outreach or your budget or you know the situation you're in may not allow you to do that. That doesn't mean you can't do outreach. You can do outreach using Mailshake and Hunter.io. Use Hunter.io to you know clean that list, make sure it's as clean as it can be. And then, as I say, you can use these templates and follow-up sequences on here to be able to try and negotiate the best guest posts you can. Now, people will come back. They will ask you for a fee. Normally, you're going to pay 40 or 50 bucks for a link placement. Why is that? People just know that that's the kind of going rate to charge and they will charge it. So make sure if you don't want to pay for it, you've got something else you can offer, whether you offer them free content or a link elsewhere. Make sure everything's clear in your initial outreach email and in any follow-up sequence. Now, as I say, the Mailshake blog itself is full of great blog posts and strategies. There's plenty of videos online on YouTube that will allow you to go into severe depth on Mailshake. But what you have to do is take action. You need to start getting the links that your competition are getting that you don't. And that is going to start with doing some generic outreach. Now, you may not like generic outreach. You may not want to do that stuff. You may simply want to pay a guy who does this stuff because this is too much work. These options will come up later on in further videos. This is just showing you how to do it. But you can pay someone. There are guys and services and companies out there who do this, who do this day in, day out that will allow you to carry on running your business and not do the grunt work. But obviously, for the purpose of this video, is to show you how to do it or show you what the people are doing in the background that you're paying and what you would expect them to be doing. You know, and, and it's not that easy <laughs> you know there is a lot of donkey work in here so i want to get that point across as well so that is you know a very basic how to set up an outreach campaign